Hello everybody, 64 Studios 101 here, and today I'm doing another Doctor Who video. If you're a fan of the show, chances are you're a fan of the Daleks. These evil metal creatures who try to exterminate are more iconic than almost anything else in Doctor Who. Since the Daleks have been around for over 50 years, there's bound to be more than one Dalek design, right? Right. The Daleks have had several, and I've decided to make a list ranking all of them from worst to best. Let's make a few things clear, though. I'm only counting major differences in the color and design of main Daleks. That is to say, special Daleks such as the Supreme Dalek, the Dalek Emperor, Dalek Sec, or the Special Weapons Dalek aren't on this list. Also, the Emperor's Guards from the Evil of the Daleks and Bad Wolf slash The Parting of the Ways aren't counted, because not only are they Emperor's Guards, which means they're probably a higher rank than most other Daleks, but I don't count their Black Domes as different enough. Similarly, I'm not counting the Dalek scene in Destiny of the Daleks as different from regular Grey Daleks, even though they are technically slightly lighter, and the Daleks featured in the Daleks and the Dalek Invasion of Earth are grouped with the Daleks that appeared from the chase onwards, though they are slightly different. Oh, and I'm only counting Daleks that have appeared on television. Lastly, remember that this is my opinion, not yours, so don't hate on me if you disagree. You can, of course, list your opinions or why you disagree with me in the comments, though, as long as you keep it civil. Okay, I've already said a mouthful and the list hasn't even started, so let's begin now. First, an honorable mention, the Daleks that appeared in Doctor Who and the Daleks, and Daleks, Invasion Earth 2150 AD, the two movies that starred Peter Cushing as human scientist, Doctor Who, in a series of adventures heavily based on those in the show we know and love. Yeah, it was pretty much just trying to cash in on the whole Dalek mania thing that was going on in the 60s. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much just Beatlemania, but with the Daleks. This isn't on the main list, as these movies aren't considered canon in the Doctor Who universe. These Daleks are very bright and colorful, not unlike the newer Paradigm designs, and one was even reused as the Supreme Dalek, repainted, in Planet of the Daleks. They are taller than most of the Daleks from the main show, the tall ones in the Dalek Invasion of Earth and the new Paradigm ones are probably around their height. The main thing that's memorable is their colors, though. And now what you have all been waiting for, Daleks from the official show. In last place, we have the Paradigm Daleks. I know this is pretty predictable, but unlike many people, I honestly can't really say if I hate them or not. They hardly appeared at all, and the episodes they have appeared in were either bad, or they got little to almost no screen time. Usually both. What I've seen of them I don't particularly like, and I think they look too clunky and colorful to be as much of a threat as other Daleks, but who knows, I might like them more if they actually did anything with them. Also, we keep being reminded about how they're bigger and more powerful than ever before. Bigger than they've ever been. They've improved, they're stronger, they're more powerful, they're more brilliant, they're more... Ferocious. Yet we never see any evidence of the more powerful part. This again can probably be traced back to the lack of story we get with them. So yeah, I don't particularly like the design, and they really haven't been used for anything, which doesn't help their case. Haha, <laughs> get it? Their case? As in casing? Never mind. Second to last is the Bronze Daleks, who have appeared since 2005 as of the time of this video, but there's no denying that some of the stories they've appeared in are great. Look at Dalek or Bad Wolf in the Parting of the Ways, not to mention Daleks in Manhattan and Evolution of the Daleks. No, 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 wait, I'm just kidding about that last one, don't worry. I don't think they're that great. Seriously, though, pig slaves? And don't even get me started on human Dalek sack. Getting back on track, these Daleks look too much like tanks. I've heard this was the intention, but I prefer the Daleks to look a bit less industrialized and metallic. I'm not big on the blue light on the eye stock either. Also, the bronze Daleks have been around for so long without them doing anything interesting that I've kind of lost interest in them. Seriously, the two Dalek stories I mentioned earlier are the only New Who Dalek stories that I think are brilliant. I'd also really like these Daleks a lot more if we actually got another Dalek story where they were threatening. A Dalek hasn't killed a single person in the Moffat era of Doctor Who. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating there, but almost no one. Probably less than ten people. Seriously, what would Eric Sayward say? Now we get to Daleks I actually like. Namely, the original Daleks, who appeared throughout the 60s. These Daleks are the ones that started it all. They have appeared in some of the greatest Dalek stories ever. 
the dog's master plan. They weren't even seen in color in the show. Well, not until the magician's apprentice shut up. They practically weren't in Asylum of the Daleks. And I, for one, think they look better in black and white. I wouldn't be surprised if the reason the Daleks had light blue orbs was just because it looked so good in black and white on camera. Back in those days, they didn't know anyone would ever see Doctor Who on color television. The blue orbs simply make the Daleks a bit too bright looking in color, in my opinion. A problem that we also got with the new Paradigm Daleks. It was worse with the latter. In black and white, however, these Daleks are as good as any. Next, we have the Daleks. From Death to the Daleks, a story that is interesting, to say the least. These Daleks are silver with black orbs, and before you comment, but you said you're only doing major differences. These Daleks are just the 60s Daleks, but with black orbs. Hear me out. Black and white television is very different from color, and if you compare a shot of a 60s Dalek in the show with a Death Dalek, they look pretty different. But they appeared in The Magician's Apprentice slash The Witch's Familiar in color, you say. Well, the difference in orb color is visually more noticeable than the difference in dome color. Well, at least for me it is. And this is my list, so I can do what I like. These Daleks look a lot like the 1960s ones, but they seem a lot more threatening in color because of the less bright orbs. These Daleks, unfortunately, only have one appearance in a mediocre at best story, in my opinion, of course. But unlike the Paradigm Daleks, I actually like the color scheme and design in the first place. In second place is the Imperial Daleks, and I love them. Sleek and cool, the color scheme of white and gold fits together perfectly. While the bright colors on the 60s Daleks didn't work very well, the gold ends up looking metallic in just the right way, and the white is added on to make it look not too metallic. Unlike a certain 2005 design that I could mention, this is the same type of thing we see with the Gold Supreme Dalek that appeared in Day of the Daleks and Frontier in Space, who has black orbs to prevent the gold from completely taking over. The Imperial Daleks still look the coolest out of any Dalek, with the gold eye stop plunger, sorry, sucker arm, and extermination ray, yet they also look sinister enough to come off as a real threat. That's what makes these Daleks work so well, the mix between sinister and cool. I'm still waiting for these guys to come back and not just the special weapons Dalek. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the Dalek design in first place is... You guessed it! The gray and black Dalek design used from Day of the Daleks to Remembrance of the Daleks. This is probably the most iconic design and for good reason. The dark colors make each Dalek look quite threatening, and it helps that these Daleks can fit into the shadows better than anyone but Dalek Sec. These Daleks never fail to act threatening well. There are a few scenes in Destiny of the Daleks, but other than that, not much I can think of. They don't look as industrialized as some of the others either. The colors also make these Daleks not particularly stick out, something that can help the fear factor a lot. It baffles me that they didn't appear more in The Magician's Apprentice and The Witch's Familiar. Surely these are the obvious choice. These were the Daleks for nearly two decades. So yeah. Classic design combined with simple yet effective colors make these the best Daleks of all. I hope you enjoyed my list, and I'm interested to see what you think. But remember, don't hate on me simply because I don't have the same opinion as you. That's both immature and annoying. That being said, feel free to share your opinions. And as always, I'm open to any requests. Thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.